Just practicing little uh, boxing pads with my brother who recently started doing some boxing of his own. Good for him. I encourage uh, everybody to, to do martial arts. So today I'm visiting the Hong Kong Museum of Art, which is again another brand new building. And in the building, there are a lot of different exhibitions separated by rooms and separated by floors. There's really a lot to cover. So I've only selected some of the best parts that I think uh, deserve to be uh, shared here. As you can see, here's an exhibition on the different historical hairstyles that Chinese people uh, had between different dynasties and different uh, ethnic uh, minorities. So certain times when it was the Manchurian government uh, or the Qing dynasty that, that took over, then you had sort of the Qing dynasty kind of hair. And then there's the other kind of dynasties as well. Here's a very unique Chow Yun Fat tribute exhibition which showcases all of his different characters and his outfits. This exhibit showcases what a typical scholar from back in the day, ancient China, uh, what his or her room would be like. So uh, he would have his paintings, he would have his you know scrolls and his brushes. This is the uh, famous Avenue of Stars, which I will give a full overview at a later time, but I happen to just pass by this today. So the, the biggest difference between uh, this time I'm coming back and the other times is that uh, all the places are actually very empty. A lot of the places there's not that many people around and I, it's because, uh, you know, of the pandemic situation. Uh, usually a lot of mainland Chinese tourists are here. They're not here. And of course, even regular uh, just regular foreigner tourists are also not here. Um, so that that's basically made the areas die down a lot and it's much more accessible for, for example, like a local like me, uh, for me to access. So, you know, I can walk around everywhere and uh, I'll have a plenty of room and I won't be crowded. Uh, of course, the malls and shopping centers and stuff like that are still going to be crowded, but the tourist places, they're, they're much less crowded. So that's that's a nice change. So just next to the brand new Hong Kong Museum of Art is actually another brand new super mall called the K11 Museum. And this is a brand new development, brand new mall. Uh, again, Hong Kong is very famous for its malls and, and shopping centers. So many ways to shop. Here's uh, Mr. Robo again. You'll find some of these Chinese robots that are crawling around in these big malls and they help clean the air and get rid of any uh, sort of COVID that might be flying around in the air. And you could see this mall beautifully built, you know, very classy kind of vibe. They got nice music in the background and you can uh, eat and shop till you drop here. It's great to finally be at a gym. I haven't been inside of a gym in I don't know how long many, 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 many months. It was great to just be able to work my strikes on a bag again. I haven't hit a bag in such a long time. And uh, really work off some steam, work off that rust, work off, you know, all those weeks staying in the hotel. It was just nice to just hit something again and hit it as hard as I could. got out the gym, did about, uh, you know, more than 10 rounds, trying to get my cardio in, trying to get that, uh, you know, bag work in, blast my lungs out a bit before I see my uh, Muay Thai friends, and uh, hopefully my cardio will hold up during the sparring. <laughs> 